What's going on, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Ryan. So, if you need to channel and subscribe, do all that great stuff. All right, y'all. So, today I'm going to show you guys how to um, use the destructible mesh in Unreal Engine and how to also render that in Sequencer. It's quite easy, to be honest. It's just that um, Unreal Engine has some sort of a glitch in the, the Sequencer. You can't really see your destructible mesh in the Sequencer unless you simulate. But there's a way you can, you know, um, tackle that and also like render from the frame you want the stuff to like destroy, right? I mean, I've been trying to get this thing destroyed because I need to do a lot of cinematic, you know, that involves destruction. So as you can see here, I already rendered uh, this out. It destroyed really good. It's colliding with the floor. It's, I mean, the collision with the floor is way better than Cinema 4D or Maya. I just don't know how these guys do it, to be honest, but it's really good. I mean, look, look at this. So it really collides properly. I can just have like, you know, somebody just crash this, boom. And then we add some like, you know, uh, dust and all that debris, right? Anyways, let me show you guys how to do it. I I'm not going to be using this truck because for me to fracture the mesh took a longer time. So we're just going to use something simple. I already have it set up here, but I'm just going to delete this just because I don't need it anymore. Okay, so I am going to go to um, Bridge Bridger. I'm just going to get any sort of um, um, uh, mesh could be rocks or whatever. I don't want to use like the cylinders here. I want something with, you know, good um, uh, assets and uh, textures. Sorry, with good textures. So let's see, I, I can show you guys what I have here. I mean, using Quixer or Bridge is really, really easy. All I have to do is to select what I need and just export that to Unreal Engine. Crazy. Okay, so I do have a lot of, um. 3D objects. Um, I want to use something simple, not too complicated. For the sake of this tutorial, okay, let's use this. We can use this massive cannon. I think that will work. So I'm just going to export that to Unreal Engine. Boom, it's exported. Unreal Engine gets it. So we always crazy how this works, man. We're just like doing this easily. It's crazy. Okay. So let's go to Mega Scans. Uh, surfaces. Okay, not surfaces. We will go back to 3D assets. And then canyon. I'm just gonna bring this here. Uh, 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 this is quite big, to be honest. But it'll work. It'll work. All right. So the first thing you want to do in order to get a destruction is to go to your settings, go to plugins, and um, enable apex destruction i don't really know how to use chaos yet but um i probably will learn that after this so just enable apex dis destruction here and restart all right so when you've done that when you've extracted your um um your when you've got your you know your asset that you want to destroy what you want to do is i'm going to make this up here i actually can leave it there we are going to right click here and then create destructible mesh so it's going to take some while to load up and uh, pretty much we have something like this. Okay. Can't really see it cause it's kind of, okay. You can see it now, but you can't see it. Ooh, it looks pretty good. So this settings here is just the way you want your stuff to like get destroyed. I'm just going to use the 25, but you can actually increase the cell count, but that will require more RAM. Just um, take notice. I'm going to enable impact damage. And I uh, probably will make this damage like one. I just want it to be more effective. And uh, pretty much that's everything you got to do here. <laughs> I know, right? It's crazy. If it's a uh, cinema 40 or mayor, you have to do it way more, you know, then we're going to go to fracture mesh. Now this might take quite a while to do. I don't, depending on the, on the, um, on the, depending on the quality of your mesh. So yeah might take time so um, once it's done I'll be back in this video all right all right ladies and gentlemen we are back as you can see it's all fractured up if we want to see the explosion counts you can actually see it here boom so this just represents like how your stuff is gonna explode I mean I don't it, it, it with the gravity it won't explode like you know crazy like that but you can make it explode like that if you want to so I'm gonna save this and then we're gonna exit this out all right so now I'm going to delete this because this is just the actual mesh. And um, 
we already have the where is it we already have the destructible mesh it's always good to rename your files to make it look you know easy to identify so canyon destroy let's name it like that right so now we want to place this here as well so now the next thing we want to do is we want to create blueprints i know you some people are scared of blueprints but truly it's not that bad i'm telling you the truth so blueprint class just create that create actor and I call this, you know, destroy cannon. Then we're going to double click on that. All right. So now what I, what you want to do is actually drag this um, cannon destruction into the view port here. Okay. So I'm just going to drag this and bring it in here. Boom. So we have that in there. I'm going to go to event graph. And uh, basically, I'm going to right click search on components. Begin I think it's right here, so let me see if I drag this there. Okay, no. Oh, that's to get get it. Okay. So I usually make a note so I don't you know forget. So I'm just gonna search on, on components begin. Okay, I'm not seeing that come up. Okay, so let's, let's, I think I know the problem. So I'm just going to import this mesh again. Let's try that again. It should be inside here though. So I, I do have two screens, so I'm just going to import this here. Then graph, components. Okay, there it is. All right, so I got it, okay? So basically, you wanna make sure you grab that, you know, um, mesh, destructible mesh inside the viewport so you can have this add-on component begin overlap, okay? You, you just have to do it, because like, when, when the screen was smaller, I dragged it, it didn't work, but when I made it bigger and I dragged it, it worked. On your engine, whew, what a day, right? So now, next thing we wanna do is we wanna set this to, um, Simulate physics. You just put in SMU and then you're going to have this here. And what we want to do now is we can actually drag the cannon destroy. So what we're looking for our mesh. So this is it. Oh, there are kind of many. So let's say get cannon destroy. See that. And then we're gonna put this to target and then simulate. And then we wanna compile, save if you want, and then exit out. So now when we simulate this, right, this is already simulated. If I go to simulate this, simulate physics, boom, we have that. Well, I don't think this was a good example. <laughs> okay, that's not a good example. But you guys get the point, right? You guys get the point, okay. Okay. Yeah, this is not a good example. I don't like, look at this, it's so bad. But anyways, so now let's stop this and um, we actually gonna go to our sequencer. I already have a sequencer already made up here. So I'll bring it up here for you guys. Um, you can bring it down here if you want. So now I am going to, um, I'm going to take this and bring it to our sequencer. So now what you want to do here, let's bring this down. So you can move it down, okay. So what you want to do is to add destructible components and then we are going to um, look for, uh, let's see, we're going to look for the body instance, physics, simulate physics. Okay, and then you want to take this on. Now the problem with this is you can't really keyframe this, uh, uh, the simulation physics because it's not gonna work if you try to do that. I tried it, it didn't work. So if you're animating or, you know, making a, a, a cinematic uh, stuff, you might wanna separate, you know, your rendering. So like, for example, if you want your your um, asset to like explode at frame 60, you have to render from that exact frame 60. So it's not a big deal. It's just, that's the way, you know, cinema, uh, Unreal Engine has to work. So let's first um, render this out at zero okay 
because I want to prove something. So I'm just going to render everything. We'll render low quality, so it doesn't really matter. So let's render at frame zero. I'll leave zero here for capture. So, I mean, the rendering takes like what, like, you know, uh, how many minutes to render? It's crazy. Okay. It's finished. So I'm going to open this and uh, pretty much here it is. But the camera angle wasn't right. Okay. So as you can see, we rendered from zero and it worked. All right. So now I'm going to delete this. Let's render from frame 60. Okay, but this time let me fix the camera angle. Uh, let's make this camera bring it back just a little bit, you know. Okay, this is kind of slow. Uh, let's make this faster. Okay, better. Now we can see properly. So now let's render this. So we're ready from frame 60. Just want to show you guys that that's how you do it. Fortunately, so it works. Woo! I can see it already, man. I can see it already. Y'all see it works? So, you know, Unreal Engine is good for this, you know, like, do you know how long it would take to render those kind of things, like, in Maya? Bruh. I look at this, man. And then I can actually control the gravity if I want. If I can enable gravity, but I didn't enable gravity, so I can do that if I want. But yeah, pretty much, that's how you do it. Um... I like this example better just because it's way you can see how the truck is exp you know cutting down even the, the 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 window here it's crazy man it's crazy bro anyways i hope this video um helped you guys understand how to do this if you guys have questions let me know in the comments i know because i i struggled you know to get this working so um i hope it really helped someone there anyways thank you guys for watching this video if you guys like it, give a thumbs up I'm going to see you guys next time. Take it easy and we are out of here.